Greetings in the name of the Most High One, the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we want to promote worldwide. That is the climactic end of our mission statement. It is about Him, but through us. I am grateful for the personal proclamation, gifting, and calling that He has given in order to help me deliver spiritual health worldwide. This is a personal proclamation mission which undergirds a global proclamation vision. At the back linings of my chest, you will find the phrase, large numbers of individuals. In order to attempt reaching into large numbers of individuals, we need initiatives of global scope and large scale. I think one of the advantages that Ramesh has across the world is his favor with people of influence all over the world and wins over the hearts of uh, politicians and leaders in different countries that allow him then to go in and make a difference for their people. And this has got to be one of the most brilliant fellows I have ever met who has balanced uh, academics and education with ministry and impact in a most unique way and on a worldwide basis. The strategic burdens that I carry have to do with evangelizing opinion leaders and strengthening pastoral leaders led by personal proclamation. Media outreach is one way by which we can touch large numbers of people all across the world. One thing I've always admired about REACH is their ability to look around the corner for new technology and really efficient ways to uh, expand the kingdom. Every year we choose a theme for the whole year and daily we post through an internet strategy, we have weekly thoughts and a monthly video. One of the things I like about the uh, internet program is that Ramesh presents the gospel and the uh, people are recommended to come to the site, they're recommended to go to these counselors that would engage them in the video showings and they get a chance to actually see the gospel presented clearly and then get be, receive an invitation to receive Christ. And I think that's extremely important. And again, it's a great way to, to use the internet to lift up Christ. Our evangelism is built on the conviction that the gospel is not good news if it gets there too late. But our strengthening and training side is built on the conviction that pastoral health affects church health and church health affects societal health. For only 5% of the world's pastoral leaders have been trained for pastoral ministry. Can we reduce the deficit by another 5%? And God is giving us great momentum and impact. In an integrated system that is being fully planned and executed by the day. We are in the middle of a 10-year human capital campaign to connect Unite Strength and 100,000 pastoral leaders who are undertrained and isolated. We start with the Global Proclamation Academy in Dallas. The Dallas GPA brings in 25 countries and 25 pastors each year in a complex, deliberate, difficult project that binds them together, which allows them to learn to preach biblically and live biblically and think biblically. Dr. Ramesh Richard and I began to talk and dream about the Global Proclamation Academy, a shared ministry initiated by REACH, joined in with Dallas Theological Seminary to provide a place where leaders of other nations could come together for an intensive time of study, discipleship, vision casting, and preparation. Dallas CPA put me in the right track of the ministry. I'm very glad for telling something about my experience in Dallas GPA. It's unbelievable. The hospitality, the way of teaching, the standard of teachers, it's beyond my thinking. It's every day, every day is new experience. From the Dallas GPA to the national GPAs, uh, the thing that comes to my mind is this exponential multiplicity as these guys take the 25 Dallas graduates, go back to their respective countries, and they organize and facilitate for 25 of their fellow countrymen who are also involved in mentoring and discipleship relationships with local pastors within their community. The Global Proclamation Commission for Trainers of Pastors is a global platform that has been built 
and a pipeline that delivers relationships and resources all across the world. It all began in Bangkok, in the middle of the decade, when over 2,500 trainers of pastors from both formal and non-formal sectors from over 100 countries joined together for eight incredible days. When I attended the GPRO Congress, I could not believe that there is this big amount of pastoral trainers meeting together to seek God's face and to think about the church's health. That's how strategic the GPRO Congress was. It was an amazing experience to me and to other pastors from around the world. I believe that it gave us all an additional awareness on how to deal with the church's health, how to think of the pastoral health, because we want to imply the societal health. So I could just say it's an amazing experience. Oh, I want to learn. I want to know so that I can be a blessing to, to the people back home. Find out how do you train people, pastors who have very little money, uh, but a great heart and a great desire and a great passion to do so. In addition to the platform and the pipeline, we have a portal. The GPRO Connect portal allows resources to be uploaded and downloaded across many languages to as many pastoral trainers that want to access it and belong to it. It's real exciting to be part of uh, uh, promoting, encouraging uh, others to to find out about this man, this ministry, and this impact because it is well worth it if you're concerned at all about the advancement of the kingdom of God. You get this exponential growth of return on the monies you've got invested. And uh, you know, that's just to me, it's, that's a wise way to do God's business. I invite you to join me in changing the way one billion individuals think and hear about the Lord Jesus worldwide.